In this video, we will make a barrier for the racetrack. Press Shift plus A and add a cube. Press S, then X to scale it down on X axis. Press S, then Y to scale it up along Y axis. Enable snapping, and then place the cube alongside the road, to check if the size is correct with respect to the road. Now press N, and change the position of the cube to 0 0 0. Also change rotation values to 0. Press period key to focus on the cube. Go to edit mode, and press Ctrl plus R, to create a loop cut, and then right click to cut the cube at the middle. Select all faces of one half, press delete, and select faces from the options. Go to modifiers tab, and select the mirror modifier. Select Y axis as the mirror axis, and deselect the other axis. Now add two more loop cuts as shown. Now change to face selection mode, and press E, then Z to extrude the top face formed by the loop cuts along Z axis. Press R, then Y to rotate along Y axis. Also check which way you want the barrier to be bent. Place the barrier alongside the road and check. Now extrude along Z axis as shown. You can also scale down the faces, if you want. Make sure that the merge and clipping checkbox are ticked in the mirror modifier. Now make a loop cut as shown. Select the new edges that were formed on the base cube, by the loop cut. Now press X and then select dissolve edges to remove them. Select the edges as shown, and then press E, then Y to extrude along Y axis. If you have checked the clipping checkbox in the mirror modifier, the edges of the extrusion will merge with the mirrored part at middle. Now press Shift plus A and select the NURBS path under curve. Scale it up a bit, and rotate it on Z axis by 90 degrees. Add an array modifier to the barrier, and change factor of the axis, along which you want to extend the barrier to 1, and the rest to 0. Here I want to extend along Y axis, so I change Y value to 1, and X value to 0. Also add a curve modifier. Make sure you have added array modifier before curve modifier, otherwise your extension may look like this. Assign the NURBS path to the curve object, in the curve modifier. As you can see, the barrier has got attached to the wrong vertex here. I wanted it to be attached the first vertex, to extend in positive Y direction. To solve this, select the barrier, and remove the NURBS path from the curve modifier, and rotate the NURBS path on Z axis by 180 degrees. Now assign the NURBS to the curve object in the curve modifier. As you can see, now the barrier has got attached to the first vertex. Increase the count value in the array modifier. Select the NURBS path and go to edit mode. Now if you change the position of the vertices, the barrier will follow the curve. Also enable the merge checkbox in array modifier. Select all vertices of the NURBS path, enable snapping and then press G to snap it to the track model. Press G to move the vertices and press E to create new vertices. More number of vertices will make the track follow the ground better, 
because the ground is not flat here. Spread the vertices around the track where you want the barrier to be. After this, go to object mode, select the barrier and increase the count value in the array modifier. Make sure that there is no gap between the barrier and the ground. You can also increase the depth of the wall by selecting the barrier and going to edit mode. There you can modify the shape of the barrier. Once you are satisfied, decrease the count value to 1, and go to the UV editing window. Add a new material and, and then assign a new material to the grill faces. Place the UV map such that, they look continuous in both faces. Once you have done that, go to shading mode. Connect the color output of the image texture node, to the alpha input of the BSDF shader. Then go to settings option in the material tab, and change blend mode from opaque to alpha clip. Then decrease the clip threshold. Now you can see through the grill. Select the wall faces and assign them a new wall material. Add a vol image texture to the material. Select the edges as shown, press X and then select dissolve edges. Now it will be easier to do the mapping. Do the mapping such that it looks continuous on both sides. You can also add a floodlights if you want to have night races. Create a cylinder as shown. Place it behind the barrier. Increase base height up to the wall by scaling on Z axis. Select all faces and assign a new material to it. Select the top face, and extrude it along Z-axis, 
then scale it down. Then extrude the top face along Z axis as high you want the light to be, then rotate it on Y axis. Extrude along Z axis again and then scale down the top face. Create a cube as shown, scale it down along X axis and the place it as shown. Then scale it up along Y axis. Create an inset face on the selected face as shown. Select the vertical sides and scale it up. Press E and extrude as shown. Select the flood light material and give it a metallic look and decrease the roughness. Select the light material and assign it to the selected face. Change the emission color to white. Once you are satisfied, go to object mode and increase the count value. Now you have flood lights along with the barrier. This is a different light pattern that I had created earlier. If you found this video helpful, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel.